Jay asks a great question here that we've heard a lot. Uh, doesn't creating a team in Teams create an Office 365 group? If so, why can't I find it in Outlook? Yeah, Microsoft and their infinite wisdom when they first create. <laughs> When they first created Teams, they tied the two together, and then event, then by default, it was added to Outlook. And then they decided halfway through that, oh, no, we're going to not actually attach the two anymore because people were getting confused because all the groups were in their Outlook. Now you it can. Yes, it can. The, the problem is it has to be PowerShell scripted back in. I wish it was a checkbox. Would yeah. you like this when you create those? Can we or make this? Or admin control to go and do it, right? Yeah, Just, but, yeah, but no, it has to be a PowerShell script. Thank you so much, because not everybody has that ability. Um, and then now you got involved IT and they have to go run the script. So I don't know. So, do, go ahead. Why, why do you care? Why do I care? What? About Why do you that? care if, the, if the, you have the group associated with the team? Because that's the foundation of everything, right? That's how you know the members, the permissions, the all of, all of that is involved with the group. So you have the yeah. visibility. Uh, well, that, I mean, that's my point is that you, I mean, depending on what you're trying to do, I mean, my question to AJ is like, well, what are you trying to accomplish, oh. you know, by having that association? What are you doing with the group? Why wouldn't you just you know, use Teams the way with the out of the box features and do everything there. Like there, so I guess my, like, this is where it would be great if we could ask AJ a follow up question is, what are you trying to accomplish that you're not able to do without having that show up in Outlook? My guess is that he's trying to be use the inbox to be able to monitor in the inbox locally in his Outlook. That would be my guess. Um, also the calendar, being able to see that more easily instead of having to go out and browse to it. Um, seeing the group calendar that's associated with it too though that would be my two guesses but i like all my groups in my teams and i have to and now what i do instead of creating a team i create the my the office 365 group in outlook and then i teamify it so i add i create the team from the group that way i get that in outlook so that's my little that's workaround. a link we should provide to this as well is yeah is that scenario okay i can get those two links for you the yeah. script to fix it if you already have one and the my uh, sherry's hack the team <laughs> maybe I'll do, fine, right yeah maybe i'll do a video <laughs> yeah, that's something mark cashman talked about a lot back in the day mm -hmm. when we had you know when that was a new feature yeah just to help you out sherry i mean you know if you have some folks that don't want to touch powershell and they want to do that hey i'll do it for free you know just hit <laughs> me up you know i take i take cash credit Whatever. No, no <laughs> I'm still a scaredy cat. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a scared PowerShell scaredy cat. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I I, yeah. I think I feel like it's having it's that one PowerShell of the, fear. There's nothing wrong with that. So no, no having yeah. fear of PowerShell. <laughs> that I think that's normal because that it's that it's that barrier. I think that people have to respect when it comes to Microsoft Teams and administration. Lots of barriers are brought down to make it simple, but the moment you want to start flipping the dials and the switches, you're not going to find a very fancy front end. It's back to the PowerShell that's usually reserved for a certain level of access in an organization. And, and hopefully <laughs> a, a level of knowledge to go right. with that security. So it's one of those things with Teams. It's It seems easier to use than than really it is. It's a complicated thing and it needs to be respected as such. And there's no undo button <laughs> if you there's mess no it up. Undo button. <laughs> Again, the, I, I know I could bring this up, but that's uh, that's another space where third party tools, a lot of the admin and governance tools provide a lot of guidance is because it's again, it's permissions based. You have to have the right level and uh, and you know understanding of what you're doing so you don't go in and break things, but to put it to in a, a UI and to automate a lot of those capabilities that you would otherwise have to go and do PowerShell. Sometimes you just can't get away from using PowerShell. Microsoft has not, you know, uh, opened up the APIs to certain things or, or what have you. Sometimes it, it's just is the quickest, easiest way to get what you want as an admin is PowerShell, but there are other tools out there to automate a lot of these capabilities as well.